Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, guys. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a really, really, really good day. Uh, Kodos got first by typing out the whole alphabet, which, uh, okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, JQ27 uh, posts the Kappa face. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, Dang Dynasty is here as well. He says, happy two-year anniversary. Uh, well, it, it's not quite yet. It is on Sat well, Saturday stroke Sunday. Um, is a two-year anniversary prototype. Is. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Crafted Cables is here as well. Uh, Telvin saying happy two years as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's almost there. Almost two years. <sighs> it's kind of interesting. Like, I, I never thought it would get to two years. I'll talk about it in a bit. I'll talk about it in a bit. Uh, Crafted Cables also asking how everyone is in chat. JQ sent it's rum o'clock here. It's coffee o'clock here. I have a coffee in front of me. As you can see, just up here in the little window. Uh, Anarchy subscribed for six months with Prime. Thank you so much, Anarchy. I think you were one of my longest subs. Thank you very much for that. He says, will there only be tricks in the stream today because you gave away all the treats yesterday? Uh, no, there will be more treats this week. Uh, there's going to be a few giveaways, um, including a big giveaway on, on Saturday. Pretty big giveaway. Uh, so, yeah, lots, lots going on this week. There's going to be some drops during the week. There might be the odd code dropped into Twitch sub chat for free shipping or free stuff or bits and pieces there. Maybe we'll see um, all sorts of stuff could or could not happen. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be lots of stuff given away and we're going to try and really celebrate the two years. It's, it's been cool. It's been a long time and it doesn't feel like it's two years, but at the same time, it feels like it's about 10 years. So it's been good. Uh, Dark Week is here as well. He says good morning, as is Demotex. Thank you very much. Hey man, good to see you. Uh, Lex also subscribed for four months. He said hi, happy almost anniversary, and sorry again for bothering you. Don't worry, man, it's not a problem at all. As soon as I saw it this today after I caught up on Monday, I wanted to help you out. So I hope that's all sorted now. Uh, Telvin, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. That's a hype train incoming. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Tidal's here as well. He says yo, hey man, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. I hope that replacement PCB worked for you. Let me know how that went. Uh, it's a nice looking coffee. Thank you. Uh, I make it myself here in the workshop. Uh, my latte art is terrible. <laughs> it's it, it's not the best, but there you go. It's supposed to be a rose. Kind of worked, I guess. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff going on this week. Uh, lots of extras, lots of stuff getting added to stock. Going to be a busy, busy week for both Mel and myself. Um, but today we're building a keyboard because I missed yesterday. It was Halloween yesterday and I had full size Snickers and Mars bars to give to the kids that came around for trick or treating. And I bought 50 of each thinking that that would be plenty. You know, 50 Mars bars is a lot of Mars bars. 50 Snickers is a lot of Snickers. I thought that would do for uh, all of the trick or treaters that could possibly come to our door. Um, and in the end, I gave away four Mars bars, just four Mars bars. So I now have 50 Snickers and 46 Mars bars to eat. You try and do nice things, and it doesn't always work out. So, uh, so that's that. That was how last night went. But I, I skipped streaming last night so I could uh, be there for the kids on Halloween. And unfortunately, I think it was the weather. It was raining like mad, so I think the weather kept them away. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, so that was uh, that was that was why I wasn't streaming last night. But tonight I'll be streaming my mountain keyboard. So this is the Ergo Alice style board from KPD fans. So I'm really interested to see how this board goes um i've had a very brief look at it if you watch my insta stories this week you might have seen me have a very quick look at it earlier on this week uh, but i haven't really taken it out of the packaging or anything else or looked at it in any great detail i've just had a very quick glance at it so i'm pretty excited to see how it goes together uh what the typing experience is like and what it sounds like um but it's gonna be uh it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting if you're looking at Alice boards, nice, nice. This is this is an Alice style layout, but it's also tented as well. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Elder Rat dreamed hydrate. Thank you very much, Elder Rat, for making me drink some water. There we go. <clears throat> Office snacks for 96 days. I don't think they're going to last 96 days. Not with Mel around. Mel, if you're watching, I know you like a Mars bar. I know you do. Uh, we bought two big packs of Haribo's and nobody came back. Yeah, it seems like the whole weather thing and just the time of the year and COVID and everything else just kept the kids away this year. Um, so we even had stuff outside the house. We'd put uh, like posters up and um, uh, we had like stuff in the garden. But yeah, we had four trick or treaters and that was it. 
So it was what it was, but there we go. Before we get started, I will talk about Prototype is Hitting 2. So for those that you don't know, uh, Prototype is started in November 2019. Uh, we actually tried to register the company earlier on in the year, in April, but that was just shortly after my mum had passed away and things just got really busy. So although we did register the company a little bit earlier, we didn't actually start trading until November 2019. So yeah, it's... Uh, it, it, it's now, it's now two years this weekend since Prototype is started trading, which is kind of blowing me away. Uh, Queen Elizabeth is here. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Says that she didn't get a single one to the palace this year, trick or treater. Um, I'm very sorry, Your Highness. I, uh, I hope you get more trick or treaters next year. Uh, I hope you're in good health because I saw you were in hospital the other week. So, um, so yeah, so it's now been two years since we kicked off Prototypist as a what was supposed to be just a small thing in my garage, helping people out to get parts and making my own stuff. And now here we are two years later with a full-on warehouse that's not big enough with stock coming in left, right and centre, sales going through the roof and being able to provide you guys with all of the cool stuff that's out there in the keyboard world today. Um, so thank you very much every single one of you that's ever patronised the store, watched a stream, come to the store in person sent me a nice email chatted on the discord server anything like that thank you so much guys because two years is a huge huge thing and i never expected it to get to two years when i started prototypes i thought it would be you know a couple of hours a weekend doing stuff in my garage to try and help out the community i didn't think it would become a whole thing where i would uh have to do it full time i never expected that and whilst i don't have any income from prototypist it's it's a full-time job and i don't have a day job anymore which is amazing it's absolutely fantastic um and i'm just i'm just kind of blown away by the fact that we've been able to get here in two years like it's just nuts it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever but it makes me happier than anything i can tell you uh chicken tikka taka thank you so much for the subscription i really appreciate that man thank you very much thank you so much um let's just catch up with uh with some chat congrats on two years mate uh keep up the fantastic fantastic work this is uh, andrew Mitter. thank you so much for that i appreciate that uh chicken tikka taka says congrats thank you very much stores is here as well good evening stores hey man thank you very much for being here uh and aleriac atl says congrats on two years jay do you have any extras that you recommend picking up soon yeah so i do have two sets of extras coming this week uh, in keyboard land which is the icky 68 aurora which comes in charcoal mizu mint and devoted colorways and the extras for all of those will be live on the site on friday i haven't decided on a time yet but friday this week uh so it's monday today on friday they will go in stock and then on saturday the j01 extras uh finally will be going on on uh on sale around 11 a.m in the morning on saturday i think it's going to be because i have to be somewhere else in the afternoon uh, but the reason why it's taken so long is because i've been waiting for a ton of replacement pcbs they turned up today so i was finally able to set a date for when the uh, the j01 extras are going to drop so there's quite a few j01 extras i think but i haven't been through them all yet so my plan for the next couple of days is to go through them all uh, as soon as we've shipped dsa magic girl out i'm going to be going through the j01s tomorrow that's my uh, my day job tomorrow we'll be going through j01s and qcing and packing them uh we're probably going to sell them as a kit with a cf ansi plate and then if you want any extras you'll have to buy like an iso plate or a fr4 plate or a pom plate you'll have to buy those on top um i think that's going to be the easiest way to do it they're going to go in stock at 11 a.m i think the price for the group from the group buy is going to be five to ten percent somewhere in that kind of range more than the group buy price so if it was like 100 pounds it will now be 110 pounds ish sort of thing but you know you can work out from there uh prices for uk customers will include vat for non-uk customers you won't see vat or have to pay it they will ship within three working days uh so you buy them on the saturday they're probably going to ship monday or tuesday i'll be honest with you so you should have them uh this time next week they'll be on, on their way out the door so yeah 11 a.m uk time so that's uh we're now gmt we're back to gmt so 11 a.m gmt uh will be the actual time that they go on sale no time yet for the ickies uh they're going to be on friday though jcw the ickies are going to go live on friday i haven't decided the time on those for yet keep an eye on the discord server and on, on instagram because that's where i'll announce it probably on instagram first i'll announce it and then i'll put an update out on discord probably the, the day before to let people know what time it will be um i expect the j01 to be more international that's why it's kind of in the middle of the day the 
the ickies are probably either going to be earlier in the day like nine o'clock or they're going to be later in the day probably four or five pm i haven't decided yet which it's going to be but it's probably going to fall that way and of course they'll all ship out on monday tuesday as well so yeah it's going to be uh gonna be interesting am icky please we'll see we'll see i haven't decided on, on the time yet it really depends on what we've got going on in the workshop and how much other work we get through because we've got all of magic girl to ship this week the uh banana splits have almost almost got here they've uh excuse me they've been reshipped with UPS, usps now or ups now so they should be here this week you can check the updates i literally just put an update out on before the stream went live um and as well as that we also have eight or nine different switches going in stock this week that are new to the store inks v2 giants v5 uh more cj switches uh linear um uh lilac linears and lilac tactiles uh pom duroc piano switches and, and a whole raft of others they're all going to go live this week and as well as that we've got a ton of desk mat extras as well so if you've missed out on desk mats for the doge thing or the keycaps for doge think or you've missed out on the eppt aesthetic desk mats or uh the japanese modern desco desk mats or 10 or 15 other desk mats they're all going to go in stock this weekend as well so there's going to be a huge huge st amount of stuff added to the store this week um as well as that as well as that we're also going to have um some codes some giveaway items and stuff dropping on the discord server throughout the week there'll be some dropped in normal chat there'll be more dropped into sub chat just because i like to support the subs and everything else um one lucky person will get their jail one order at the weekend completely refunded and they'll end up with the board completely for free so one lucky person who manages to buy it will get a board completely and utterly for free i'll pick that at random on sunday uh, after however many have sold on saturday uh, they will get the board completely refunded and i'll announce when that's happening on discord as well um so yeah we're going to try and do a fair few bits i think we'll probably do the same with the ickies whoever buys the ickies there'll be one fully refunded one order will get completely refunded um at some point over the weekend as well so just to celebrate that whole two years of prototypist i want to try and you know make it good for you guys so we had 10 percent off at the weekend if you order two items i think i think that we might do uh like a, a happy hour on on wednesday or thursday this week when all of the switches and desk mats go in stock where we might have 20 percent off for an hour um so we'll see we'll see but lots to go on this week uh, and i really really hope you guys are going to be there to share it with me so yeah uh what colors of icky are there uh there will be the charcoal there will be the mint there will be the mizu and there will be the devoted ones those are all the ones that are going to go in stock on friday for jo ones we'll have all of the colors including the limited edition so you'll have the white and brass you'll have the blue and silver you'll have the red and silver and you'll have the black and silver and they'll be in all layouts so the eight or the ten key macro pad version uh, that's all going to be in stock at the weekend so lots and lots going on um freebies going to be around galore we might give away some free shirts and stuff like that as well uh, as i say there's going to be loads of stuff dropped into twitch chat on discord sorry uh, sub chat on discord so if you're a subscriber watch out there and keep an eye out for notifications because things might be happening um so buy them all and get one free got it i mean sure if you were quick enough to buy them all you'd get one free but i ain't taking no refunds if you buy them all jq you're paying for them all you're paying for them all uh david thank you so much for the sub two months in a row thank you very much wow thank you man uh and bled in as well he subscribed for two months too he says what's up guys thanks very much dude thank you um the jail one's going to be about five to ten percent more than more expensive than the group buy price was uh the hope is that if all of them sell at five to ten percent more than the group buy price uh then i'm going to break even on the group buy because at the minute i'm i'm in, i'm at a loss on the group buy so i'm hoping that that five to ten percent increase uh, if they all sell and all of the ones we have here are a stock which i need to check uh i'm hoping that they they will just push us through and keep us up to uh uh to breaking even at that point um blue blue to goggles is saying hey Jay, have you seen the geon uh w180 yes sir i have i've bought two of them i bought a pink one and i bought a uh, raw aluminium one because i'm going to do something fun with the raw aluminium one so yeah yeah we have some shirts i have mine on today i uh, will be giving some of these away and these will be in stock as well and if when we put these in stock guys we're going to put hoodies and shirts in stock if you guys buy them i've promised mel that that's actually going to pay for like a, a team day out at some point so if you guys buy them it's not like lining anyone's pockets or anything like that, but it's going to make for like a really fun day for mel and i i think we're going to go go-karting and go for some food and all that kind of stuff so yeah yeah 
<laughs> it's all, all, all sorts of things. Uh, you can go on the website and check the old price um, uh, of the of the JR ones, and you can add five to ten percent, and that's roughly what the prices are going to be. So there you go, there you go. How does one get into sub chat? Uh, if you sub to me on uh, Twitch, then you have your Twitch and your Discord usernames linked in your settings. Then all you need to do is join the Prototypist Discord, and it will automatically give you access to. Uh, um to the prototypist a twitch a sub a chat but we do run competitions we you be working with wook studios to get the new icky round two pcbs when they release them the one with the super flex because yeah i've already spoken to wook we worked with them on the all of the ickies today that have run uh, i think every version of the icky we've we've worked with them on so far uh, as well as the ginkgo so i'm hopefully we're going to be able to continue that partnership because it's worked really well for us both so far um so yeah hopefully that's going to be the case um uh big reposo says uh jay amazing stuff as always will you be sharing numbers for joe one extras i uh, will thank you very much for the sub man i don't share numbers for extras I, I don't like to do that because it it generates artificial demand in some ways um but i i'm i'm hoping i'm hope in an ideal world i'm hoping that i would put them live and they wouldn't sell out immediately but every time I've said that, they've always sold that immediately. So I don't know, is the honest answer. Uh, there will be a very, very small number of limited edition Jail ones. But yes, there will be a Jail one limited edition at the very least of each type. Um, but they're very, very small numbers of the limited edition. Because even I didn't keep one. I don't think I'm going to even get to keep a Jail one of my own. I think I'm going to have to buy my own through the next round of them or a commission or something. Because, uh, yeah, we need to... Um, we need to make sure that there's uh, enough for customers that we break even on the group by before I can keep one myself. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Alu8876, thank you so much for the Prime sub, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Crocobi redeemed hydrate, so I'll have some water and then some coffee as well. Uh, Blue Toggle says they were looking at the Harbour Grey. Harbour Grey for what, man? Harbour Grey for what? Oh, for the, uh, for the W180. Nice, nice. They'll be gone in seconds. I, I, I don't know, Adam. I don't know. Like the, the way the market's going up and down is uh is interesting. Is interesting. The title says, What do I need to do for free JO2? Uh come see me and bring some cash and you can give me the cash for a cuddle and then you get a free JO2 on the side. How about that, dude? How about that? Uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't like to share numbers because it, it it makes things difficult. Like if you share numbers about group buy stats, people start to get a bit wary about it and people start to get a little bit upset. And I've had it where designers have shared numbers with public publicly before about vendor splits and extras and stuff. And then I've had people email me saying, why have you bought so many extras of this? I don't understand why you would do that. You should have bought X extras of Y instead, this other set instead, or you haven't bought enough extras of this set. And uh, how is everyone going to get one? And it, it really, really doesn't, make for a good conversation given how the community is i think it's better to just not talk numbers at all and just say look they're going to be in stock there's plenty of them in terms of like numbers wise it's it's not going to be a two minute job for me to check them uh and qc them and pack them it's going to be like a day's worth of work so that kind of gives you a rough idea of how many boards there might be you'll just buy the cuddle oh thanks man thanks man well Ty, whenever you come down dude you uh you are more than welcome to uh, to come see me anytime you like man. So yeah, so we're going to do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and in fact, what we might do is we might do a quick giveaway now for a shirt. So um, if you would like to win one of these lovely prototypist shirts, uh, let's let's run a giveaway. All you need to do is type into chat the word shirt, S-H-I-R-T. Um, subs get a little bit more luck uh, than non-subs and uh we'll run that giveaway so all you need to do guys if you want to try and win a shirt is just try to type the word shirt into chat just like i've done there and you won't have to pay for shipping or taxes or anything like that i'll ship it out to you uh completely for free all you need to do is type in shirt and we'll see if we can win if we can get someone to win one <clears throat> the only thing is if you do win it guys i want to see a selfie on instagram or in the discord or somewhere of you wearing it like that'd be cool right Send me a picture of you wearing the shirt. Everyone retracts their comment now. They don't want it if they have to take a picture of it. <laughs> we'll give it a minute and see if anyone actually wants to win the shirt. 
Lex already has one on the way. I hope you get that some like tomorrow. Lex, is that possible for you to get it tomorrow? That'd be cool. Uh, Bladin, I think you asked earlier on about the uh, um, your mug. Your mug is here. Your mug is here as it has always been, ready for you to collect it since I ordered them like two years ago. So the day you come to the workshop is the day you get your mug, Bled. Okay, another 10 seconds, guys, and then we're going to run it. So if you do want to try and win a prototype of shirt with this with this lovely lovely this is this is um uh this isn't like printed on this is actually stitched in this is like a um I don't know what they call it but it's it's actually uh embroidered that's the word it's embroidered in so it, it's properly nice they're properly good <clears throat> okay five more seconds guys three two one let's see who's gonna win that shirt uh, Chicken Tikka Taka, thank you so much. There you go, you win uh, You win the shirt. Good sir. There you go, Chicken Tikka Taka has won the shirt. Uh, Chicken Tikka Taka, if you drop me a whisper on here, I will tell you how to claim your free shirt um, straight after the stream. So just uh, message me on here, drop me a whisper, and I will reply back to you after the stream and let you know what you need to do to get, you, to get the shirt into your hands. Bear in mind, we have multiple sizes as well, so we have like small to extra large, so We'll be able to make sure you're comfortable. <laughs> so congratulations to Kintika Taka. This is where it's like in somewhere like Indonesia and it's going to cost me like £70 to ship a shirt to him. Um, it's going to be like really expensive, I bet. <laughs> okay, but we'll be doing giveaways like that during the week and we'll be dropping voucher codes and stuff into Twitch, into Twitch subscriber chat uh, on the Discord server. Uh, and all sorts of other things as well. And as I say, we're going to give away a JL1. Uh, one person is going to get their JL1 refunded on Saturday, and one person on Friday is going to get their Icky 68 Aurora refunded as well. So, yeah. Lots and lots of uh, stuff to come this week to celebrate our two year anniversary, which is amazing and awesome. So, yeah. PT goes bang through, through giveaway posters. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, I live in Antarctica. Oh no, we actually have shipped something to Antarctica as well. So this is one of the really cool things that I get to do as pro a prototype is, is ship things all over the world. So I have a little map, or like a digital map on an application, and I just drop a pin in every country that we've shipped to. And I think so far of like 211 countries, we've shipped to something like 185 or something now, it's, it's nuts. But we have shipped to Antarctica. So we've shipped uh, a keyboard to a research station in Antarctica via DHL. I didn't even know DHL could deliver there, but they can. So it, it, I don't know how it got there, but it took weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, but it went to one of the research stations in Antarctica because someone there wanted to, uh, to, to, to use one of our products, which is amazing. It's awesome. Uh, North Korea, yep. Yeah, I ha Not through Prototypist, but prior to Prototypist, I have shipped products to North Korea as well. But that was before Prototypist days. Musaroids, thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Uh, and Tidal as well, thank you so much for your Prime subscription, man. I really, really appreciate those. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, who lives there in North Korea? People. Pew Pew Laser, thank you so much for the uh, for the sub, man. He says, good evening. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Not seen the DHL ads from a few years ago. Uh, is this the uh, 1000 XM4s? If so, how do you like them? Uh, so this is the XM3s, but I do have the XM4s as well. Uh, the battery just is dead on these ones, so I wasn't able to use them for the stream today. Um, and I'll be honest with you, they're amazing. The XM4s are way better than the XM3s. Uh, I use them in the workshop all the time. Uh, they're great for noise cancelling. They're fantastic with the sound quality and everything else. Huge, huge fan. If you're looking for some headphones and you want over-ear headphones, Sony XM threes or fours every day of the week. Drifty says, I can't wait to get my JR1. Saturday morning, good sir. That's when they're going to go live. Saturday morning. Uh, anyone know the layout where it's ISO with long left shift and the slash key where the anti enter should be? Uh, so that's US ISO. So that's uh, uh, US ISO. It's, it's kind of. Uh, infrequently seen, but you can make most most keyboards into that layout if you'd like to. I have some keyboards built in that layout. So there we go. Uh, Hi on Belvita. That's a great username. Hi on Belvita. That's an awesome username. Um, Belvita biscuits. Does everyone remember Belvita breakfast biscuits? I remember those from years ago. Uh, thank you so much for the sub, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, there we go. You have a red JR1. You think you need a black one as well? 
I think you do too. Yeah, I think you do too. Don't forget to buy an extra PCB, an extra pen rail, and some other bits and pieces as well. <laughs> it still tastes like cardboard. Yeah. I'm the type of person to buy something on Met Market right before extras are announced. Oh man, I'm sorry, Drifty. I'm sorry. I have been telling everyone that extras have been coming. I was literally just waiting for a shipment of PCBs to arrive before I announced extras. Um, I have been preaching it on the Discord. Don't buy on the aftermarket. Wait for extras because they're about here now. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Belvitas didn't really taste like cardboard. They were okay. I didn't mind them. Uh, PCBs, plates, etc. will all go live at the same time as the cases, yes. So there'll be PCBs, there'll be plates, and there'll be extra brass pen rails. Uh, for plates, there'll be FR4, ANSI, and ISO, CF, ANSI, and ISO, and POM, ANSI, and ISO. Uh, those will all be available uh, at the same time. Uh, if the pen rails in brass sell out, I'll open it up as a pre-order straight away. So if there's like, because there's not a huge number of those, so if they all sell out really quickly, then I will order up, open up a pre-order for the pen rails. Uh, you'll have to buy them separately, but you know, hey, if you want a brass pen rail, you'll be able to get one. Uh, so the secret is there are copper pen rails in production. They are not going to be ready for the extras. Uh, some of my close friends kind of pestered me into doing some for the group by when we ran the group by a year ago. But when we got the uh, the copper pen rails in, the holes had not been for the screws had not been drilled correctly, and they've all had to be sent back and they're being replaced. But there might be some copper pen rails in stock at a later date. I won't run a group by for those though. <clears throat> uh, will plate files be made available after extras? Uh, so I, I intend to make plate files available. I don't know exactly when that will be, but it will be at some point. I can say that. Um, I do want to one, run one more group by four carbon fiber plates. That's because I think people want the 7U version and the split space bar version, a few of the bits and pieces. So I'll probably run that very close after the extras have sold. After that, I think that that's when the plate files will open up for production. Uh, have you ever cut prionic plates? Yes, I make POM plates in-house in stock uh, and I've made them for prionics before, yes. Have you ever considered selling more keyboard parts like stabs and in-stock cases? Uh, I did sell stabs at one point. I sold so many stabilizers that they sold out in about 35 minutes. Uh, the original Jurok V1s, I had about a thousand sets. They sold out in about five minutes. I then bought another set of Jurok V1 stabilizers right before the V2s were announced. They got lost during shipping and I've never bothered before. But when the Ickies go on sale, there will be loads of the Icky uh, colored stabilizers as well. So there'll be the charcoal devoted and mint stabilizers all listed on the store as well. I've got hundreds of sets of those. They'll all be listed on the store at the same time as the Icky extras. Have you ever considered, uh, yeah, okay, we've talked about that. And in-stock cases, uh, I, I try and sell in-stock cases, but they just sell out too quickly. Humza, thank you so much for the subscription, man. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, will we be able to combine multiple orders? Really gunning for the case, and I want to order it as fast as possible, but I also don't want to bother you guys with extra work. So if you, if you buy something, if you make two orders, you can't combine them. But if you buy something in stock and then you want me to add something else that's in stock and I see the email and it's still in stock whilst I see the email, then I will add it to your order for you and you'll have 24 hours to pay. So if you manage to buy something and you want to add something to that order, drop me an email immediately. I will then add it to your order and you'll have 24 hours to purchase it. If you don't pay for it within that 24 hours, it will then go back into stock on the store. Um, but please, please, please try and add everything to your cart to check out first. Please do that. Please, please, please do that. Um, like, like adding stuff to orders, it's so much, so time consuming. It takes a huge amount of time. Uh, is it possible to order the extras? Uh, so I think I've covered that Capone with the question from Alu876. So I hope that covers it. Uh, Excited says, Jay, big up on selling me the Bubble 75, by the way. Hyped for whenever that gets here. Yeah, thanks for that, man. I appreciate that. Uh, the Bubble 75 sold really well. I put in the full order this morning so i'm hoping that we get the invoice soon we can get that paid into production i think there is a slight issue with something that i need to have a look at that uh, that sherry from velocifier has made me aware of so i'll have a look at that um and yeah i'm excited for it it's gonna be good golden ratio thank you so much for the five months of Subman. i really appreciate it thank you so much uh, thank you very much for being here you'll just add it all it's selfish don't <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, John2017, thank you so much for the two months of subs, man. I really appreciate that, my dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
lots of subs today guys lots of subs thank you very much guys i don't appreciate i appreciate it. i don't deserve it but i really appreciate it thank you so much everyone wanting those uh those um discord sub uh chat giveaways that are coming up this week uh latem keys thank you so much for the sub man i appreciate that i appreciate that. and love your work as well thank you so much i love your work too uh any chance of a lavender restock soon yes lavenders are on order i don't know when they'll be here but they are on order uh so they should be here at some point soon uh so lavend lavenders alpacas banana splits tangies uh kiwis i think that's everything i can tell you that's on order but there is more than that on order uh, so th those are the ones we're going to restock pretty soon pretty soon uh felt a snatcher thank you so much for the follow man i appreciate that thank you I've never used a plate, a uh, carbon fiber plate before. What made it the top choice for the only one available uh, J1 plate option? So you could buy the J1 with FR4 or CF at group buy. It's just going to be the CF uh, on and the extras, and you can add an FR4 plate if you want, or a POM plate if you want. The reason I went for CF is just because of the sound profile. That's the way the board was designed. It was designed with CF in mind and linear switches in mind, and that's what the acoustic cavity is designed to provide the best sound with. Uh, your mileage may vary, your hearing may differ, you may have a difference of opinion, but that's kind of where I was set with it when I was going. Um, I just like the way that carbon fiber gives you a really clear sound. It doesn't have any reverb or ping of its own, and it gives you a really clear sound that you can hear what the board, the switches, and the keycaps themselves sound like without interfering with those. It's just a really nice material for plates, and I, I, I genuinely love it. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, Blue Toggle says, uh, has there ever been a small GMK kit containing UKI? So uh, Windows caps now, four caps would be an amazing kit. So I don't think there's been a, ki a, a kit having UKI, so windowed caps and R4 caps. I don't think that's been the case, but there has been a lot of GMK key sets with UKI, UKI so keys in. Uh, GMK Bleach put it in with the numpad, for example. Loads of uh, GMK Midnight Rainbow had it had UKI so in the base kit. Um, I think, you know, there's been lots of kits, lots of sets that have had uh, international kits like Classica and DMG Round 3 and Botanical and Dracula, which is coming, I think has one as well. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff yeah the like uk iso keys are relatively rare in the hobby i appreciate that but they are available to get celestial ferry thank you so much for the subscription i really appreciate it thank you so much thank you man uh gonna order a load of our packers next time can't see me needing another switch they're so nice yeah i, I agree geeky yeah, they're a good switch i don't think i'd want to rely just on one switch but i agree they're good switches which reminds me i need to grab switches for this build because that's the only thing i didn't get so i'm gonna nip nip and grab some switches uh gmock thank you so much for the subscription man thank you man um i'm gonna nip and grab some switches because it's just on the other side there but then we're gonna take a look at the mountain and we'll get the keyboard built Oh, other switches are coming. KTT strawberries, KTT sea salt, uh, KTT grapefruits. They're all on the way as well. I can tell you about those. Oh, Celestial, you are more than welcome. I, I, I just want to make the hobby easy and accessible for everyone in the UK. That's my plan. Risky Business is looking forward to the J1 extras. Hopefully you can get a black logo variant. Fingers crossed, good sir. Fingers crossed. Right, let's flip over the camera because it's 40 minutes into the stream and I haven't actually even shown you what we're going to build today. So, let's flip over the camera, slow it down just a touch, and I'll show you what we're going to build today. First of all, we are using lilac linear switches. I'm hoping I have enough in this bag. These are lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero, uh, and they were lubed by the Pokemon kid here in the UK for me. I don't have time to lube my own switches these days, so he does an amazing job for me. Uh, so yeah, they're lubed with 205 grade zero. Posture check, yeah, I think when we sat down we were good on the posture, blue toggles, but thank you for that, appreciate it. Those are the switches we're gonna use today. We're gonna use uh, Jurek V2 stabilizers, the last of my batch, I think. And then we're gonna build now, first off, I want to give KBD fans a shout out for this packaging. How cool is this packaging? So it comes in this kind of like bandolier with the mountain on the side. And you can see it's split into two parts, mountain on here. But it's this really nice 
box. So here we go. Take off the bandolier. It's just a, just a bandolier, that's all it is, but it's a nice little addition. I like it. And here we go, here's the box. It did get slightly bashed in shipping, but the box is there to prevent damage to the keyboard and it did that really well. So, here's the box. And then this is what you get inside. So, see so we've got a wrist dress, we've got a PCB, we've got a plate in here, in two pieces, two plates, I can't get them back in the slot now, there we go, we've got the keyboard itself here, which I'll show you in a second, and then we've got loads of other little bits in the front here. How nice is this box, right? Look, this is what you see from the angle. You see, it's lovely wrist rest, all of the gubbins and there. If you flip it around, you can have a look at it from this side as well. See that we've got all this nice stuff in there. The PCB is in two pieces. I'll show you that in a second. So first of all, we have a wrist rest. It looks like he's been put in the box the wrong way around, but let's take a look at that. Two big rubber pads. Nice grooves underneath so it doesn't get caught on anything. Angled and with mounting on the sides. Well. That's etched in really nicely. CNC milled into that. Nicely finished. You can see we've got this peak here. This is the peak of the board. And you can see it is tented. Looks pretty good. Pop that back. We'll use that towards the end. A very pretty packaging. The packaging's awesome. The packaging is awesome. Let's take a look at the PCB. So the PCB uh, looks like it's in one, but it's not. We have to break it out of this, and it has two. So you can see here there's a gap all the way around. We have to snap it out of this. So we'll do that in a few minutes. <clears throat> uh, Dang Dynasty says, how many personal boards do I own? Dude, I don't even know. Like, I know it's over 300 boards but I don't know the exact number. I don't have an accurate count, uh, but I know it's north of 300. That's all I know. It was about 214 in January, but when I worked out how many personal boards I've had come in over the course of this year and how many vintage boards I've bought and everything else, it's definitely over 300 now. I know I've had more than 100 boards delivered this year. Uh, we had one week where I had 11 boards delivered, so I know it's over 300. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, it's nice when they think the packaging through makes the experience so much better. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't this board a relatively quick turnaround time? About five, six months, I think. Yeah, I don't think it was too long. But KBD fans have their own kind of like production facilities and everything, so. Uh, seeing all of these boards come through makes me wish I'd go into the hobby buying early, I'm not going to lie. Well, JCW, you can join and get a J01 in stock this Saturday. They're going to be there. Uh, 300, I own five and I thought I was deep in this hobby. Yeah, it's, it's about 300. It's north of 300. I don't have an accurate count, but it is north of that number. Um, I don't have an exact number. Like I, It's like key sets. I couldn't tell you how many key sets I have, but I suspect that's in a similar sort of region as well. A similar sort of number two. So, um, I'm not just being a dream life. I'm not. Like I, I collect cars as well, and I think I get more excitement when I buy a car than when I buy a keyboard, but I use keyboards more than I use the cars, if that makes sense. Like a lot of my cars just sit there and look nice and don't get driven, whereas the keyboards get used every day. So, yeah. Uh, are they all box or is there a glory display somewhere? Um, so like there's a few on display up here. There's like a shelf just off here. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six boards up there. There's three, there's four boards on here behind me. There's uh, behind the monitor, you can't see just this direction. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boards there. There's two on my desk here and there's one just off the side of the desk, just that way. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's like what's just around me in general. Um, and then of course I'm building this one right now. So yeah, like there's, there's boards everywhere. What was the damage on the mountain? Um, I'm not sure. Let me let me have a look. 
Let me have a look and see what I paid for it. see if I can find it so I ordered the board on the 5th of July uh, the 5th of July and I paid a $395 plus $25 shipping so I paid $420 to, to buy this keyboard and then I did pay last week import duties of it which was 20% plus 14 quid for the event for the um, the local shipping company as well so that would have been another 20 40 60 80 82 dollars another another hundred dollars on top so this cost me 520 dollars roughly uh so there we go uh young homie thank you so much for the follow man i appreciate that uh this is the group buy unit this is the group buy unit um yeah so uh i bought this on the 5th of july i'm looking at it here the 5th of july is when i bought it and i have it here now on the 1st of november and it came last thursday so it was like the 27th of october or something like that uh maberko and rodri thank you so much for the follows guys i appreciate that thank you so much so yeah uh, are these even still available uh, i don't know i have no idea uh you can make your decision after the stream if you want to try and get one lex is that wood? Yeah, this is a this is the wrist rest. We just looked at this wrist rest a minute ago. This is the wrist rest that comes with the board. So this is this is a, a part of the group buy. You got this with the board. You didn't have to do anything extra. Cookie, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. So that came with the board. Uh, no, the Type sixty five is just out in my workshop. I haven't sent it back. Uh, do I have any info on the Frog TKL cell through, through, through Prototypist? So, no, I don't have any info to share at the minute. Um, both Gion and I have had a chat about it. Uh, we hope it's going to happen, but I have no information to share right now. Sorry. But yeah, I still have the uh, the Type 65 Dark Week. I think GMUX that these were already in production prior to them selling it. I think they'd actually ordered like four or five hundred of these from the manufacturer, uh, and then they just sold them as a pre-order rather than a group buy. Uh, the difference for me is group buy means it hasn't entered production when you pay for it. If you're buying in a pre-order, it's already entered production when you pay for it. I think that's the difference. I think they'd already done that. I think they'd been in production for like six months when they actually decided to sell. I think. Okay, so uh, we've had a look at that. Uh, we also have uh, all sorts of little tools and. Oh, daughter board's interesting. Doesn't follow the standard daughter board style. It's a little bit bigger. We've got tools, gaskets. Little odds and ends there as well. What's in what's in here? Let's let's see what's in this. Oh, interesting. Oh wow. So this actually already comes with stabilizers. Look at this, look at this. You actually get stabilizers with this. Uh, the, these are the new KBD fan stabilizers. That's really cool, these are the new KBD fan stabilizers. So we're not using jerk stabilizers, we're using, we're using these now. It also has the, uh, the um, these are like the little stickers that go underneath stabilizers as well. So we'll give those a try. I was gonna buy some of these KBD fan stabilizers and now I don't need to. And of course, they also have the washers that go underneath the screws as well. So there we go. Uh, bagels, hey man, good to see you. That thing is massive. Which thing's massive? 10 you on the JO2 when? Uh, yeah, at some point. If I get if I can get KB Defense to redesign the uh, um, the PCB. Uh, not, not KB Defense, uh, Cannon Keys to redesign the PCB, then I'd love to support 10 new space bars on the J series. Love to. Uh, Celestial says, not a fan of the screw in tool, the one on my 67 Lightning in my hand. I probably won't use the tool, I have my own tools here, so I'll probably use those instead. Uh, I'm going to take the wrist rest out and put it to one side because we'll, we'll see what it looks like at the end. We've also got the two plates as well, so I'm just going to pop these here. And then here we go. That's everything out of the case. You can see we also have some uh, foams, quite a lot of foams actually. We've got a piece that goes underneath. 
this drops in the bottom of the board and then you have in switch foam as well so we'll, we'll build it with all the foam that they expect us to build it with and then here is the board guys how nice is this this is the black top case uh, with the e-white base so as you can see it's tented and tilted it's pretty cool though look at the side profile it's got like a little angled bevel here and then into the flat and then underneath front profile looks pretty nice rear of the board as well i'm not a fan of this i don't like this for the cutout for the usb but it is what it is it's a small thing and then here's the base uh, as you can see it says mountain here and then it's got a black e black inserted piece here so no weight or anything on this board but given the price i wouldn't expect one uh cutouts for the feet tent is super interesting the only thing i change is this oh, i thought we've got a nick on it then i just don't i'm not a fan of this usb profile i'd have had it flush to here just have it flush on this that would have been better i think Yeah, let's put the uh, the feet on it now before we go any further. They are in here somewhere. You wish the K type would go into group by already? I think it's not too far away. Okay. So the only thing that would make the feet nicer on this is if they were not die cut, and if they were injection molded instead. The die cut ones are okay, but I'd prefer injection molded. So let's put the feet on first before we do anything else. no idea on the type k whether it's going to be a group by or in stock I, I have no idea what I, aio3 is planning for that Which manga? Well, please don't make that same joke here because the same happens you here. I had to use some super glue for the feet on my Blade 65. These little pads fall off very easy. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I prefer the um, injection molded style feet. Uh, but these are pretty nice. These are pretty good. There you go. They fit nicely. Okay. We're going to put the board to one side though now, because before we look at the board, or if I actually, let's see how the uh, the wrist dress fits. Okay, so that's a nice fitment there. That looks really nice. That works really, really well. The rest is slightly higher, like a mil higher than the, than the board, but that looks really good. How cool does that look? Yeah, I can see myself using this a lot. Okay, let's put the board to one side and then let's get ready to build the keyboard together. Almost like it was made for it. Yeah, interesting, isn't it, JQ? Oh man, is this sealed here? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, let's uh... Let's unseal this, there we go. Okay, so here's the PCB. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of like in a frame that needs to be taken out. So we need to snap it out of here. That's one of the joins there. Now, interestingly, it already comes joined together with the JST cable, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of tempted to leave it in here until I've built it. So I'm kind of tempted to uh, put the plate and the PCB and the stabilizers and everything together in situ and then snap the PCB out after I've soldered it all together. I think that's what we're probably going to do. You thought it was just one PCB? No. 
Uh, Jeremy Bugger says, will you be building a Deltron stream at any point? I don't think so. I think Quadrum's picked some other streamers to do the board uh, for, for the Delta. So uh, I'm hoping I'll get a chance to see one before the group buy. But uh, if not, I'm very excited for it because it's going to be a really good board. Posture check. Thank you. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's see what we need then. So first things we need are stabilizers. We don't need that foam. That's going to go in the base. We will need these two foams, and we'll need these two plates as well. Now this isn't a hot swap; it is solder. So let's get the uh, the stabilizers done first. What coffee am I on today? This is a Himalayan coffee. Uh, I've never had it before. It's not really my kind of thing. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I can't remember the brand. If you want to know the brand, I'll put it on Insta tomorrow. Um, but it's it's not really my kind of coffee, to be honest. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's like aromatic and I'm not really into that with coffee. I want something quite strong uh, and heavily flavored rather than something that's aromatic and nasally, if that makes sense. But it's not bad. It's not terrible coffee. Okay, so stabilizers first. Let's put some of the uh, stabilizer films in place. These are basically just small stickers, which I haven't used before, so I'm hoping this is relatively easy to do. These are basically just small stickers that are going to go on the PCB where the stabilizers would be. Oh, I see. Not quite like that. I hope there's more. Yeah, I hope we have some spares because I've messed that one up. Okay, I've never used these before, but let's give them a try. Redeem stretch. Oh, let's have a stretch. Oh, my sternum popped out. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'm not sure that should happen. I think I feel like I should be putting this on with tweezers because. Quite getting them straight. There we go. See, I never used to like the Band-Aid mod, so I'm really interested to see whether I like this mod or not. I was always very negative about the Band-Aid mod, so I'm interested to see how this just feels and sounds with these in place. Relatively forgiving though, if you get them in the wrong place, easy to move. Oh, I'm sorry, Trin. I hope you're feeling better. I hope the stream is helping you relax. Type K is really interesting. Yeah, the Type K is quite interesting, just given how it's uh, angled in different ways. But then again, I think that pretty much everything that AI03 does is interesting in some uh, in some different ways. 
everything's interesting that he does. Oops. Okay, just two more of these to go up. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean Gok in AO3. Sorry, I didn't mean Gok. Yes, no, you guys are right. It's late, all right. It's late. It's like, what, 9 p.m.? It's been a long day. I've been here at the workshop since like 7, so. Yeah, it's Gok. Yeah, I apologize, guys. I apologize. Gok, if you're watching, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. I blame that. Everything that both of those guys do is interesting. Let's put it that way. Right, there we go. Okay, so now we have the stabilizer pads installed, as you can see. Now what we're going to do is build up the stabilizers and install those. So we're going to use the full backspace on this one. And then we're forced into the layout for the rest of the board. The entire rest of the board has a forced layout. So we're going to basically run with that because we don't have a choice. Kevin does wrangle both of them. Yeah. Uh, they're about the, the same thickness of a desk keys film. Yeah, I'm going to guess they're like half a millimeter or less. Stolzner says it's going to be an expensive month for me. Two keyboards and one key set to buy. Is one of those keyboards a JR1 in the extra cell? Okay, really interesting these new stabilizers. So they're actually slightly more rounded than Durop stabilizers. They're pretty cool though, right? Look at that. I'm really interested to see how these go. But I also don't know how I'm going to loop them. Oh, I think I can loop them just how I normally would. Let's try not changing my looping method and seeing, if, seeing how that goes for these. So yeah, so remember, we're not using the Duroc V2s. We're, uh, we're using the KB Defense stabilizers. And if these are good, I'll stock them in the store. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten housings. Which is all of them. <laughs> Only took a quick glance at the announcements. The Noxious mats are returning design, are they? They're very nice. Also, Sour's Hootie mat is clean. Uh, all of Sour's mats are really clean. I love Sour's mats. Uh, yeah, the Noxious mats. Noxious is back with the second round. I didn't stock them for the first round, but he's back and this is the second round of them. <clears throat> So it wasn't a product I ran before, but it's a product that he has run before, if that makes sense. But yeah, the the sour mats are also really, really good. Okay, so I'm just going to lube up these stabilizers. I'm just going to lube these like I would any other stabilizer and see how it goes. Um, remember, guys, it's always easier to add more lube later on than it is to take it away. So just go careful with the lube. Don't go too mad see how these fit together oh nice they go together pretty easy Is the Blackout JR2 going to be grouped by our first come first serve in Succel? Uh, it's going to be grouped by. I'm wait <laughs> I was hoping to get the group by dates announced last week, but we didn't get round to it because one of the final quotes that we're waiting for was delayed. I'm just going to loop the slider rails really, really lightly on this. So I am still waiting on a final quote. And as soon as that quote comes in, we'll be announcing the group by date for the JR2 Blackout edition. But it's not far away. I was hoping it was supposed to come in last week and then it didn't. Which made me look a little bit like an idiot when I announced that it was going to happen. And it didn't. But hey. Such is life. Okay. So that's our first stabilizer done. Let's uh, pop that in place. There we 
go. The bias V2. Uh, yeah, I have a V1 somewhere that I picked up off Mech Market. It's okay. It's uh, it's okay. Ten new space bar is crazy. Yeah. What's the nice silver board on the left? It's actually uh, champagne coloured, but the camera's probably not picking it up in the light. Uh, and it's a Heine TKL one. There is a matching numpad as well, uh, which is just off camera. Where's the numpad gone? Oh, the numpad's behind me. But it's a Heine TKL one. Again, just going really light on the slider rails. Don't want to put too much lube on these, mainly because I haven't used these stabilizers before being the new ones. Uh, if anyone else has used these, let me know because I've been meaning to buy some for a while and I didn't realize they came with this board. I also need to try some of the new Zambamon ones as well at some point. I think they're called Stabies or something. Okay, let's pop this one in place. There we go. Uh, coin store. Hey man, how you doing, dude? How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well, man. I'm good. Uh, well spotted title, yes. That is a J Series Artisan pen rail on this particular board. Uh, it's a prototype that I was just playing around with earlier on today. Uh, more details on that soon. It's not the, it's just a 3D printed version at the minute, but yeah, here you go. You can take a close look at that. That's a 3D printed pen rail. The brass one underneath is actually loose and just sat on the top here. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's designed to hold Madison's. Points to anyone who can name all of the artisans on the pen rail. I don't think anyone could name all of the artisans and the colorways. I'm pretty sure no one can do that. <laughs> Thank you, Celestial. Good to know that you uh, you think the stabs are okay. As I say, it's the first time I've used them. Well, this particular brand. Of course, I've used stabs before. W1AT has a classic layout. Yeah, it's a really good layout. Anything with XT columns gets my vote. It's a wide boy keyboard. Yeah, I don't disagree with that, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, two more stabilizers to go. Soldered up a Discipline 65 PCB the other day, just the components, since I don't have stabs, but it's very rewarding when working. Yeah, anything like that, anything through hole, uh, is always really rewarding to build. I think, well, I think any keyboard is rewarding to build. Um, I think it's one of the biggest draws for me of a hot swap is the fact that soldering gives you such a big um, level of accomplishment.
Coinstorm says uh, he's not too bad, but had to take a long old break from the community as a whole because we had a pipe burst in the house. Just getting back to the point where we feel I have enough time to get back into it, though. A lot has changed in four months. Dude, like, everything changes in four months in this hobby. It all changes, but it all stays the same at the same time. It's, it's kind of crazy like that. But I feel you, man. I feel you. I see how no one has tried to name all of the artisans on the pen rail. I knew, I knew no one could do. <laughs> I certainly, I tell you what, I give, I give, I give another shirt away to anyone who can name the colorway and each of the artisans on the pen rail by the end of the stream. I know no one can do it. Uh, sorry, Demon Text. That's uh, that's a no from me, good sir. Okay. One more stabilizer to go. <laughs> JQ trying it on as well. Sorry, sorry guys, that's not the answer. I mean, if they were numbered, one, two, three would be wrong because there's nothing in the third slot. That feeling when I'm not even sure if JQ can count. Oh man. Uh, Snivet Chronicle is one of them. <laughs> you can't try again. You don't get a second chance. Which one is it you know? Uh, Snivek. Or oh, Sinvek? Sinvek. Which one is it you know, dude? The Bongo? Yeah, do you know which, uh, which colorway that is? Printers don't go boo. No, the printer's not working at the minute. Well, they, they are working, they're just not turned on. They finished printing something earlier on. I have, just haven't set them re-going yet. That's all. If you would like, I can set them re-going whilst on stream. Trolling, if you, if you ask me to set them going, I will start them going again live on stream. Uh, they are both Prusa Mark 3s. But I have, uh, I also have an Ender three, and I also have a Creality print mill as well, which I need to build at some point. Okay, that's all of our stabilizers lubed and installed in the board. Now what we're going to do is flip it over and screw these into place. Yeah, I have a Creality uh, print mill as well. Just wondering if something's wrong. No, nothing's wrong. I just they're just turned off. Well, they're not even turned off. They're they're just in standby mode. Um. Oh, I need to put the... Fluffy, hey man, good to see So remember guys, when you're tightening in screws for stabilizers, you just want to go finger tight and then a quarter turn more. You don't want to go too tight. You don't want to damage the PCB. I have seen people crush the PCB when they've been putting stabilizer screws in before. That's not what you want to do. Come on, why is this so difficult? There we go. Yeah, we're going to split the PCB uh, into two shortly. We're just going to basically build it together using the frame there to help us keep the parts together. And then we're going to split the PCB out 
once it's all built and put together. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, that, that is correct. That is one of the uh, the robots. Yeah. Three if you count the daughter board. Yeah, there is three PCBs if you count the daughter board as one. The daughter board is actually very different to what I was expecting. I was expecting just a standard um, unified daughter board, but it's not. It's something completely custom for this board. Or at least in terms of its footprint, it's custom. It might be the same. It might be the same under the hood. I don't know. I mean, it's for an odd, it's for a kind of odd layout board, to be honest. So I can kind of see why they've done an odd layout PCB. But it is fixed in terms of what it offers from a layout perspective as well, which is kind of interesting. Chunky Dota Board, Chunky JST Connectors. Yes, sir, that's the name of the game here. Yeah, I usually prefer step caps, but hey, it's a very, very niche layout. So I think what they've tried to do is just try to keep the price of the board down by reducing the amount of options. Um, and that just means things like stepped caps are not available for this board. Okay, final stabilizer now. And then we can get around to putting some switches in. don't think that you can offer ISO on this layout just due to the shape of the board itself. Um, I think it, it, it can only offer an ANSI key in that, that end position. Um, I think even if you redesign the PCB for it, I don't think you could get this to support ISO. Just because of the shape of the board itself. There we go. Okay, so that's all of our stabilizers in. Next thing is to line up the plates and the PCB foam. Uh, which plate goes on which side? Is this one gonna go here? No. Wait, wait, wait. Does that go there? Nope. Wait, what? What, what? There we go. I'm not all terrible. There we go. So that's how our plates are going to go. But I think there is some standoffs that we need to put into place as well. There's lots of different screw types and there's lots of different standoffs as well. Is there holes in the foam for the standoffs? I don't think so. So if we use the foam, can we not use the standoffs? Is that how this works? Oh no, there is. There is. Okay, great. So, let's put the standoffs into the PCB first. And I think we're going to be using these screws. Yeah, and they're going to be the flush screws. Okay. Let's try one of these first and see if this gives us enough clearance to screw on. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically hold the screw in place with the screwdriver and then we're just going to put one of the little there we go 
so you can see now we're just putting the standoffs just in place like that just there you see that just here we're just going to do that wherever they're needed I don't think there's that many. I think there's only three on each side, I think. Okay, so that's one, ah, oh, there's four. There's four on this side at least. There we go, just tighten that down. Is my JO2 my preferred 6 percent layout? I prefer Wing Keyless, but that's the only JO2 I personally have, so yeah, that's my preferred layout. Will you sell some additional JO1 and JO2 gaskets? Yeah, so the uh, the gaskets are going to be on in stock for both JO1 and JO2 uh, at some point soon. So the JO1 ones are going in stock when the JO1 group buy goes live. The JO2 ones, will, sorry, the JO1 in stock buy goes live. The JO2 ones will go live when the Blackout Edition goes live. But they'll be in stock, not group by. That makes sense. The blackout edition will be group by, but the gaskets will be in stock. Okay, there's quite a lot to this board. I was expecting it to be a simpler build than it is. Not that this is difficult, but there's a lot going on. What colours are the J1? The J1s that will be in stock will be white, black, blue and red so pretty much all of the colors that ran in a group buy will be available in stock Okay, just two more of these standoffs to put in place. So I'm just going to pop these in now. And then once we've done this, we can pop the foam in place and then we can screw the top case down, the top plate, sorry, down. And then once we've done that, we can pop our switches in. go that's those all installed and we've got two sets of screws there don't need that don't need that there we go clean and tidy desk okay so now we've got our standoffs installed now it's time to put the foam in place and then once we've put the foam in place, we can put the plate in place and then we'll screw the plate down. go now we can screw this plate this down into the plate and we're just going to use these flush screws and then we can pop our switches in from here 
Is the plate aluminium? Yeah, the plate is aluminium, yes. First one in place. Now we're going to put the second plate into position and screw it down. We're going to go diametrically opposed for this just because it's an easier way of spreading out the weight and pressure on the board. Okay, just need two more screws now. There's one. Final screw needed. There we go. So there we go. That's our plate screwed into position. And we've used nice flush screws to keep that nice and smooth. Now it's time to put some switches in. Why have I not popped the PCB out yet? Uh, I just think it might be easier to build it without popping it out first. Uh, what we'll do is we'll build it and then once we've built it, we'll pop it out. That's the plan. We should just be able to snap it out quite easily. We'll undo the JST connector because we don't need that in place just at the minute. So we'll undo that from one side. And then once we've uh, finished, we'll just snap the PCB out and it should work just fine. Bent pin. There we go. We're just going to push the switches into position now. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> what's happening then? What's happening? Uh, Nico Boy is raiding with a party of 31. Hey man, thank you very much for the raid. Thank you guys. What's going on? I was wondering what was going on then. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, guys. We're building a KBD fans mountain today. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I really appreciate that. So many different raid messages. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Whoa. Chat's going a little bit nuts. But thank you very much for the raid. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Scuff raid. Yeah, thank you very much for being here. I'm not even sure of the, who who raided. Was it? Was it? Moo. Moo. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Mochi caps. Hey man, good to see. You. car guy as well what car we're we working on at the moment uh so i have a few project cars at the moment that i'm working on at the minute um my datsun 521 pickup truck is the current project that i'm doing stuff to but i have 10 or 12 cars these days nokibu thank you very very much for uh the raid and thank you very much for watching my instagram as well thank you very much man i appreciate that apologies if i butchered your name tell me if i pronounced it wrong <laughs> so today we're building a KB Defense mountain uh, with lilac switches using KB Defense new stabilizers and chat will get to choose which keeper cap set we put on this. These switches have been lubed with Crytox 205 grade 2 and we're just in the process of getting the switches in ready for soldering. pickup truck is dope yeah it's the green one that i'm working on at the minute i've got two pickups i've got the blue one as well but the green one's the one that's been worked on right now hopefully it'll be on the road in a couple of weeks i've been saying that since midsummer but hopefully it will be on the road soon the 
depends on what you receive tracking for moon and if it was from me or not you want a beard like this thank you man this was a lockdown beard that has now become a permanent feature Some of these switches aren't quite clipped in. I'm just going to give them a gentle pry into place. There we go. making sure they're all fully in place the Alice is tented yeah this is a an ergo tented board yes uh, but this isn't an Alice it's a it's a KB defense mountain the the name's no key bow but no key is fine cool no key let's let's go for that let's go for that I apologize I'm terrible with pronunciation of names blended beard. The beard is what gives me terrible pronunciation for names. I'm sure. Okay. Almost on one side now. And then once this is done we can start to solder. And guys, whilst we're soldering, it's open season for questions. You guys can ask me any question about any topic you like and as long as it's twitch safe and stream safe and it's not going to get me into trouble with the mods of twitch then i will answer it you can ask me any question at all that you would like when we're soldering so start to think about what questions you'd like to know it can be about any topic whatsoever keyboards house life cars women wine you name it you can ask me any question you like and i will do my best to answer it Uh, any Icky 68 Aura editions like the blue one uh, all of the editions will have extras so on Friday we're going to be selling the Mizu devoted uh, mint and charcoal colorways in stock that's on Friday this week and then on Saturday we've got the J01 extras as well going in stock we'll get to the uh, <laughs> we'll get to the questions in a bit when we start to solder but you can ask me any question you like when it comes to soldering time Just wait till we're solving guys and you have to tag me as well yeah we'll get to that in a bit we'll get to questions in a bit oh we have a bent pin so I'm just going to switch this, switch the switcher. Questions in a few minutes, guys. Just 
need to finish putting these switches in, then we'll get around to question time. But if you keep me tagged, I will go back and I will answer all of those questions that you asked. It should only be another minute or so, and then we'll be into the solving anyway. Man, some of these switches just don't want to go in. Need a little bit of pressuring. There we go, that one went straight away. I may snap the PCB out just putting the switches in. We'll see. We'll see. It was it's not a big deal if we don't. If we do or if we don't, it doesn't make a difference. Too many more switches to go. I'm say I'll answer all of your questions as soon as you start soldering, guys. But you can ask me about anything, it doesn't have to be keyboard related, it can be about absolutely any topic whatsoever. As long as it's not going to get me kicked off Twitch for talking about it. I will answer your questions as 100% as honestly as I can do. there now. Whew. It's real work at getting these switches in place. Right. Last row. Last row. Saw them after this, but it's going to be worth it, I'm sure. Oof. Last two switches, and then we can check for bent pins. Right, let's have a quick check for bent pins. Spotted one so far, two. Two to change so far, three to change, four to change, four to change. Okay, so here's one. one changed. We do have another one on each side. Here. So basically what's happened here is as we push the switch in, one of the pins are just slightly bent. So we're just going to take it out, replace it with a new switch, and we'll give it to go. 
there's two on this side. Pew. There we go. And then there was one more, which was a chef. Oops, that one disappeared. There we go. Okay, cool. Right now, guys, we're ready to solder. So I'm going to go through and answer all of your questions. Now, for me to answer a question, you just need to tag me with at jprototypist, uh, and then I will answer all of your questions. You can't answer a question if it's not tagged, because I'll miss it. So just make sure you do tag me. Okay, let's go back up. Uh, so, uh, so Noki says, uh, love your IG and cars. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> thoughts on GMK Mixlan? I don't think I've seen it. Uh, let's have a quick look at that while the solder is heating up. Uh, GMK Mixlan. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, it reminds me of something else. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, it's pretty nice. It's alright, I guess. I think the alphas are a bit too dark for the bright coloured mods in the base kit. Uh, oh, I like the, uh, the Picardo base kit. That's lovely. The Picardo base kit's really cool. I really like that. Yeah, I had completely forgotten about this. Um, completely forgotten about it. Yeah, uh, this is actually coming to group by soon. I think we're hosting this. I'm pretty sure we're hosting this. I, I don't remember seeing the dark alphas. Um, oh, there we go. That's a better render. Okay, so this render, uh, this looks really good. This is what it should look like. This looks really good. There we go. I do like that render. That looks really nice. Yeah, um, yeah, it's nice. Right, next chat comes from uh, Young Homie. He says, are you happy? I'm very happy, man. I enjoying life uh i'm doing what i love um i'm lucky enough to be, be in a position where i don't need to make a living so yeah i'm uh, i'm very happy i'm married steady away in life yeah it's good times are good right now take the growth with the smooth i know bad times will come eventually but yeah i'm just enjoying the good times while they're here Uh, have you driven a Mark III GTI 16 valve? Which car? Which car? Because that could like re relate to about 10 different cars. Um, I've driven a lot of cars over the years. But there's like quite a few cars that are GTI and have a 16 valve engine. And more than one car has a Mark III as well. So I assume you mean a Golf, but you could mean a few different things. If you mean a Golf, yes. Uh, Noki Boy says, uh, I will need to lurk, but thank you for owning a dope keyboard store. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Demotech says, uh, did you ever have, I don't know that GMK set. Oh, wait, I was a vendor at mum. Yeah, I, so I just did that a second ago. So, yeah. Happens all the time. Uh, Coffee Bun is fun. What's the latest addition to the car collection? Uh, the latest addition to my car collection is a 1976 uh, Datsun 260C H330, uh, which is currently in Thailand and will be exported to the UK over the course of the new year. So that's red and it'll be here in the new year. That's the latest edition. Um, Krebsel says, is there any news regarding Lodestone? No new news, no, nothing new. Taking notes, soldering my first teeny weeny macro pad today. Uh, just take it steady with soldering. Soldering is dead easy. Take it steady. Don't get your fingers too close to the solder joint. Um, make sure your soldering iron is hot enough for the solder. Hotter is actually safer than colder, so just bear that in mind. Um, if you can, you should be around 320, 330 usually for most solders i go a little bit hotter so i can be a bit faster for stream but you don't need to go as quite as hot as i do there we go 
what was the brand of paint you used for infill? Tried to look at the top pack guy, but it looks like the server is down, so can't view it. Uh, so it's PBO, uh, P E B E O, PBO, PBO, something like that. Uh, tips for discouraging cats from making off with caps. Ongoing problem with my pom jellies. Put the cats outside. Cats can live outside. Put the cats outside. That would be my tip for that. Uh, in all seriousness, um, you could try using like a lemon cleaner on your caps. If you take your caps off the board, uh, use like a lemon scented cleaner, such as like washing up liquid that's lemon scented, and then put them back on the board uh, once you've dried them off. They should retain some of the lemon scent and that might put the cats off enough. Fluffy Keep says, if you could change something design related with your boards you've run, the J01 and J02, what would it be and why? That's a good question. Uh, so if I could change anything design related, what would it be and why? I would probably like to have done more iterations of the acoustic cavity. Um, I think it's about 85 to 90% of where I want it to be. But like prototyping multiple different bases takes a long time. And ultimately, you have to make compromises when you're doing things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I think if I could change anything, it would be to have unlimited time and resources to spend playing with acoustic cavities on keyboards. I think there's a lot to be said for that. Um, when I get a CNC machine, that's the first thing I'm going to be doing. Uh, just mill 30 or 40 different J02 and J01 bases uh, with different acoustic cavities in them just to see what they work like. I think that's the big thing for me. I think making the PCB and uh, the, like the base of the board as close to the PCB as possible is a way of getting a board to sound really flat, and I don't like that. I think there needs to be some space for resonance to build. Mooseroid says, "Have I ever had a lucid dream?" Yes, yes, I have. Um, so at one point, I used to be able to lucid dream pretty much as and when I wanted to. Um, I have lost that ability over the past couple of years. But yeah, it, 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 it sometimes still happens occasionally, maybe once a month now, but not as often as I used to be able to do it when I was trying to do it. Um, uh, also, what do you mean by you don't need to make a living? You're retired of sorts. Yeah, so I had a day job. Uh, I used to work for a financial institution here in the UK. Um, I retired from that back in April of this year, so I'm officially retired now. I have zero income right now other than a few quid a month that I make from Twitch, which is, well, next to nothing to be quite honest with you. It's, it's a tiny, tiny amount. Uh, I appreciate all your support, guys, uh, genu generally, genuinely, but it's uh, it's not a huge amount of money that I make from Twitch, um, but that's the only income I have right now. Everything else uh, is savings, investments, and just that kind of stuff uh, i don't have any income i don't take any money out of prototypist at all personally um so yeah i don't get paid like a salary i don't get paid dividends i don't take any money at all not a single penny out of prototypist for myself personally um yeah so i'm, I'm officially retired with zero income other than like 100 pounds a month from twitch something like that Uh, the VW Golf GTI. I've driven most golfs, yeah. I've driven a GTI. I've driven the new electric golf as well, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. Coinstorm says, any recommendations for someone who wants a cheapest project keyboard? I'm looking at the Daisy 40s. It's pretty cheap, but keycaps will be a nightmare. Um, I think I think the cheapest way to do it would be to just design your own stacked acrylic board and hand wire it, right? That's got to be the cheapest thing to do gives you something to do you're more involved in the design of the board from beginning to end plenty of places can do you a bit of laser cutting these days including me if you need some laser cutting services i can offer that for you um but i think that'd be a good way to do it rather than buying a specific kit especially if you want to dabble in 40s uh i, I don't know of any 40s that are budget friendly at the minute but i haven't looked if i'm honest so they may be out there i'm not sure we have got one switch with a bent pin so i'm going to come back to that one uh, Adam says, how should I help my seven-year-old choose which sports clubs to take part in? He loves all of them and it feels like he just wants to do more of whatever he's done most recently. Currently, he's on a dodgeball street, but he also has really enjoyed tennis and football. I'm keen to let him make choices, but also want to give him a wide range of experience. I think you need to sit down with him and have a really frank chat about uh, prioritization 
and sacrifice and um what's the word i'm looking for um compromise and i think he needs to understand what he likes maybe do a pros and cons list with him um make him understand that he's making a decision for himself and just guide him to make the best decision for him so you don't need to be involved in the actual decision itself but just in the process to get that so you know pros and cons list but really meaningful ones um or as meaningful as a seven-year-old can get um and just like a really guided conversation about what sacrifice means and what compromise means and just generally be a good dad like i think that i wish that I, my father had done that like i wish that my dad had taught me those kinds of decisions because i never got that and i had to learn that myself so that kind of thing i would recommend just a, a really frank chat about um compromise and then helping him do a pros and cons list and understanding where he is willing to compromise just make sure he really understands it and i'm not sure if seven might be a little bit too young for that but i think it's a good idea We'll do a quick fire answer of the rest of these in a second. Just gonna finish up the soldering here. I have got one more switch to go back and touch up because we have a bent pin that I missed before. So I'm just gonna quickly grab that. Uh, any clue when the Pendu and Harry movie switches will arrive? Uh, you can check on the updates. Any information I have is always on the updates. Um, so I, I don't know a specific day at the minute, but uh, if there's any change on those, they'll be on the updates pages on the website. So you'll be able to see. The Notion pages always have the latest position. As soon as I get new information, I put it straight on to the Notion pages. Um, so you never need to wait if you're looking at the Notion pages. You know that that's the latest information that I have. There we go. Bent pin fixed. Do you have any coffee hobby specific equipment that you like machine grinder etc uh yeah so i have a a sage barista pro it does everything it grinds fresh beans it makes decent coffee um i'm not too into it to need any more details on that to like to, to have to have like any hand espresso machine or anything like that like that's just not me it's too just too much detail for me i like good coffee but i don't want to go too much work to get it uh, Ty Tyler Forland says, uh, any news on the Jero 2 Blackout release? No, very soon. I'm waiting for the final bits of quotes to come through and then more details to be announced. Have you ever visited Islay and all the distilleries there? Yes, I have. Think about making a trip to Scotland next year to visit some distilleries if it's safe to do so. For yes, so I've been around uh, the Lag Boolin uh, and the Brook Claddy um, uh, Islay Malts um, uh, factories. They're amazing. It's a great trip. I did it on two separate days. Stayed there overnight. It was great fun. Really good fun. <clears throat> uh jammy says uh, would you ever hire someone to help out with prototypist asking for a friend i already have two people who semi work for me part-time mel who comes in and helps me with packing uh, she was here counting switches today for the store and i also have uh, sharon who's my mother-in-law who helps me with all the paperwork and bookwork in the back end as well because there's a lot of it so yeah we already do have staff uh, adam thank you so much for the uh, six months of subs uh, in advance thank you very much man. i appreciate that <clears throat> Uh, really helpful. I think I can do that in an age-appropriate way. Yeah, like, I think I wish someone had had that conversation with me. My dad is an enabler. I showed him the cloud line some months ago. He said it would probably be half a grand, so he could give me a reason to not buy. <laughs> and instead, he just said, if you like it and can afford it, why not? So I now have a cloud line order. Nice. Nice. Uh, what time is the Icky 68 drop on Friday? I haven't decided yet. It'll either be 9, 10 ish in the morning or it'll be 4, 5 ish in the afternoon. I haven't decided yet. Uh, announcement on Discord this week, a couple of days before. Nice artisan pen rep. Thank you. Uh, if anyone can name all of the artisans and the colorways on here, I'll uh, I'll give you a free shirt. You get a free prototypist t-shirt if, uh, if you can name all of the artisans and the colorways of them. If anyone can do that before the end of the stream i'll give you a free prototype of shirt uh, i'm in between do i want to get into espresso currently using a pod machine i don't like pod machines uh that's that's true uh, are your in-stock 60% CF POM plates compatible with the dh60 dz60 pcbs yes they should be they should definitely be just looked at the notion and those banana splits have been having a blast traveling all over the place they've gone backwards and forwards from the us to america more times than i have in my life it's nuts it's nuts 
Anyway, hopefully it should arrive this week. Uh, what prototype is clothing merch is planned? Uh, so I can show you, actually. These these shirts... Hold on, let me flip the camera over. These shirts, which have the lovely embroidered prototypist logo in green on grey. And also, we have hoodies as well. Let me grab this and show you. So this one's a little bit dirty because I've been wearing it today, but they're fully fleecy lined. And they're black. Zip up front hoodies with prototypist keyboards. Again, embroidered on the front. This is like a full on embroidered uh, patch. Where is it? There you go, you can see. So it's all, all embroidered on the on there. It is there, I promise, on the inside. So there we go. Those are going to have. But these are really, really cool hoodies. They're super thick, super warm, fully fleece lined. This is a little bit dirty because I've been wearing it all day. And we've also got like a sticker on it. But yeah, uh, they're really nice. Genuinely nice. So those are the two things we'll have in stock. <laughs> they were not cheap to buy, no. They weren't cheap to buy. <laughs> Right, okay, so we've got everything soldered together. Now it's time to pop the PCB out of this frame. I'm just going to basically tear it out each side. Now we've undone the JST connector so we can take the parts out. There we go. And we're going to plug that back in. have to make sure I got it in the right way and there we go we're all reconnected back together and everything is ready to go inside the keyboard got our foam there for the base on the inside okay time to take the case apart I think I need a T8 here maybe slightly smaller even yeah, and one size smaller. There we go. When's the merch dropping? Uh, it should be dropping this week. And as I say, all proceeds from the merch are going to uh, pay for it. myself and Mel and Sharon to have a really good fun day out. So it's basically going to pay for a staff end of year party type thing. Um, so if you do purchase, you'll see all of the the results of your purchase on Instagram. Thrax, hey man, good to see you. I hope you enjoyed the gym. Yeah, so it should be this week when the merch drops. Yeah, I don't want to get too far into the whole needing a grinder and everything else. Like the grinder I have is fine. There's a there's a job. <laughs> this is needs a coffee to wake up a little bit i think okay so here we go let's have a look at the inside of the case oh man there's lots going on in there there's a big chunk of metal here that's huge okay Right, daughter board time. Let's install the daughter board. You be sure to grab one of the hoodies. There's not too many hoodies. Like, there's very few hoodies, actually. So, in terms of the machining, uh, it's... it's, it's kind of, So, because it's eco, you can't actually see any of the machine marks or anything on here. So, it looks okay. Um, but there's even chamfers on these kind of, like, small edges here, which usually could be left quite sharp. So, it's very difficult to show you. But there is a small chamfer on that edge there. Which is nice to see. There's some interesting cuts as well. So just, it's going to be really hard to show you this. Try and angle it into the light. There, can you see that weird shape just at the end of my fingertip? That's kind of just weirdly milled. And I think that's just from a clearance perspective. There's no mill marks or mill lines or anything else, but it's been a huge block of aluminium that it's cut into. How they've got this for the price that they've done it for, I have no idea. Everything else looks relatively simple and straightforward. Screw holes are tapped nicely. 
a couple of little bits that have been missed. So again, just on here, if I can get the light just right. Can you see here where there's the screw hole here and the screw hole here? In between, there's like a, where it joins on this line here, there's like a really sharp point that they haven't been able to mill away. That should have been gone. Difficult to show you it, but it is there. Basically just there, you can see where it curves up. That should have been gone. But other than that, it's okay. It's not too heavy. We should be able to weigh it towards the end of the stream. I think I've got some scales handy. Okay. Right, now we need the screws for this. These should do the job, I think. I hope. These might not be quite long enough. Not long enough, that's not holding. So those are too short. Let's see if there's some longer screws. doesn't actually line up all four screw holes so the daughter board must go the other way around this must does this go in upside down it does so the daughter board goes in upside down that's interesting i like that keeps the usb port nice and low this way around take the mic but then I'd have to look at myself with keyboards. Stop replying to yourself Cesora. Um I'm gonna blend the switch UI <laughs> nice. Do you think a black JR1 will go well with EPBT origami? I think it would look lovely with EPBT origami. Any recs for in stock or soon to be boards? My pre-built is on the way out and my wackly stabs doing my head in. Uh Will Tyler, yes. So the JR1 is gonna be in stock this weekend. Uh at eleven AM on Saturday. Uh, if you want something a little bit cheaper, then we'll have the Icky 68 Extras in stock on Friday. Time still TBD. So there you go. Okay, so that's the daughter board installed. Next, we're going to pop in this foam. I think this must be for this to go through. This looks like it's for the cable. There we go. It's really interesting because this is kind of curved under here. It's nice. I like it a lot. Okay. Now we're just going to put the base to one side and we're going to screw in the keyboard itself. There we go. That's how it's going to go together. Now we just need the screws for this. Yeah, if, a, if the Type K comes out some point soon, I will pick one up. Um, I'm not sure if it's got a tentative release date or anything yet, but if it does come out soon, I'll, I'll, I'll pick one up if I can. It'd be nice to compare it, I agree. Okay, so just screwing the plate into place here. Side done. Now this side. Okay, last two screws. 
What's that screen? There we go. Can I show the side profile of the JO1? I don't have one to hand, I'm afraid, Jemmy. Um, if you go on the Discord server, there's plenty of pictures on the Discord server of the JO1, though. My JO1 is, well, I don't have a personal one. I have a prototype one, um, and that's out in the workshop at the minute. It's not in the office, I'm afraid. Right, okay, there we go. So that's how the switches fit and the PCBs fit. That's all put together, apart from putting the base on. So the first job is going to be connect this JST cable. If I can figure out the right angle to do that with. There is so little room here. Okay, I need to find a better angle for this because it's just not... It's just not going in. I'm trying to do here guys is just get the JST connector to connect into the circuit board slot and it just does not want to clip in hmm. okay I think I'm gonna take the door support out and try and do it that way a little bit more fiddly than I uh, expected it to be. Have you handmade JST cables? I hate it so so fiddly. Yeah I've had have handmade them for a few times. Um, I'm not a fan. I'd rather not hand make any cable unless I had to. Okay let's just try and get at least one screw in place here. There we go. That's three. And that's four. Okay, and then we can just drop the foam where it should be and then put the case down. Whew. 
and then now we can just screw this together and we're done. That was uh, a little bit tense getting that all put together guys, I, I apologise that I went very quiet there, that was really tense. proper fiddly the JST cable needs to be another two or three centimeters longer that's all it needs just a little bit oh the Korean loop station yeah I saw that yeah the loop stone and the load stone yeah it's, it's all right there we go guys that's the uh, the mountain all built and put together the next job is to pick some keycaps which is where you guys come in you guys are gonna pick the keycaps we're gonna use for this build um, so I'm going to give you some options and then I'm going to set up a poll and you guys are going to pick which keycaps you'd like to see on the board today. So let me let me set up a poll real quick. Okay, so you have a few choice, choices here guys. You can pick GMK Future Funk. You can pick <laughs> GMK Shoko. That's round one. Of course, there's going to be a full on selection for you guys in a second. You can pick GMK. Handabite because I saw the guy looking for all the handabite sets earlier on. I figured that'd be quite fun. You could pick GMK Matrix 01. Or finally, you could pick GMK Ski Data. Those are going to be your choices. You've got five minutes to pick on the poll, guys. Away you go. The uh, the poll is running. Uh, but as I say, you can pick from Ski Data, Matrix 01, GMK Handabyte, GMK Shoko, or GMK Future Funk. If that decides to focus. There you go. Those are the keys I've got to hand for you today, guys. If you do pick Future Funk, there are some separate options that you can use because I've got some of the smaller kits. Um, but we'll see what comes out as a winner. Currently, Ski Data is winning with 22 of the votes. GMK Metro, I do have, uh, if you mean GMK Metropolis, I do have that, but it's on another board. Uh, Mel has actually borrowed that at the moment. I need another round of Ski Data. Yeah, I agree. Do you ever you do you never reuse your keycaps? By the way, uh, I have hundreds of keycap sets. I like literally I have Midnight Rainbow, uh, OG Dice Sub, uh, Yugoslavian. Uh, behind me, I've got SA Phantom, GMK Ashes, GMK Retro Classic Arabic, GMK Solarized Dark. Um, I have GMK Dolch on there. Uh, on a keyboard just there. I have a GMK Muted there. Uh, GMK Eight Zero Zero Eight. Um, uh, what, GMK Mizu, GMK Stormtrooper, uh, Belgian OG die subs, uh, DSS Dolch, and then there's another board up there I think is GMK Sky Dolch, and that's just what's lying around, but I have loads of boards and loads of key sets. How's the angle per hand? I'll, I'll talk about the angles once we've got the board built and keycaps on and we've got the wrist rest in front of it and everything, because um, I'm interested to see how it's going to feel. I don't want to do that until, until I've got it on there. Ski data is not in the stock, but it's going to look good with this this wrist rest. That just just works so nicely. That just looks so good. You've got this angle here that you can't really see on the stream, but there is an angle down the board there, uh, and it's matched so nicely on the uh, on the weight. I'm going to zoom in for the 
keycaps so you guys can see there you go oh, too far too far it's gonna be an interesting typing experience already i can tell that i've got gmk phantom and sa phantom yes Uh, the ski data was very expensive on Happy Keys, if I remember rightly. It was quite expensive. Okay, ski data is winning though with half of the votes and over half the time gone. Do you think QWERTY Ergo would help fix bad finger crossover habits on an otherwise fairly decent typing technique? Uh, yeah, so I have a split keyboard, the Virgo, in the workshop. And I use it because I find a split easy when I'm stood up at the standing desk. Um, and I do find that it stops me reaching over with fingers. Um, yeah, I do find it, it helps with that. It doesn't help me with, with thumbs on backspace, thumbs on space bars. I still four finger space up. It's just one of the ways. Did I join any of the group buys I post on Prototypist today, Tidal says. Uh, not yet, but I am going to buy GMK November Fork. I am 100% going to buy a personal set of that for me. Uh, that's the board that has um, GMK Phantom on the Virgo. And I have my Key Cult number 2 Phantom Edition with SA Phantom on here. Which is also ISO. Look, this is, uh, this is SA Phantom on the Phantom Edition key call number two. It's a little bit dusty, but you get the idea. There we go. This is a beast of a board. It's very dusty, actually. It's a beast of a board. Okay, about a minute left, guys, if you are going to vote. Matrix 01 and Shoko not doing so well. Future Funk is getting there. Handabyte is almost there. But Ski Data is running away with it right now. I best get Ski Data ready, right? <clears throat> Unless someone comes in clutch with a big win for Matrix 01 with something huge at the end. I can't see anything making it apart from Ski Data. There it is, GMK Ski Data wins with 55% of the votes. So, oh man. <laughs> I'm hoping I've got all of the keys I need for this. Let's, uh, let's put this on. I do have some short space bars for this, which is good actually. You guys chose the right set for that. Uh, yeah. already confused myself on what goes where. I don't need the big space bars. We know that. We know that. We can get rid of those. Put some blanks here as well. We'll keep those to one side just in case. Don't need the numpad enter. Right. It's 1.5 U, not 1.25, so we don't need that. Right. <laughs> don't need the ISO enters. I'll keep the orange space bars out, but I think you guys are going to tell me to use the grey ones. We'll see. There's the alt key. It's a short alt. Maybe you need the FM. Oh wait, does this have two Bs? I think it does, doesn't it? Let's, let's guess that it does. shift keys in best way to ch spend channel points yeah Hootie's very good yeah I, I I mean it goes without saying that I'll buy Hootie because I I have a thing for owls so on my uh, my left calf I have a 30 centimeter tall owl tattooed so not a lot of people know that about me but it's true yeah, okay. I'm, I'm struggling already with the layout of this. Like, just to know what's what and where it's going to go. Uh, I know there's a few keys I definitely don't need. This board does not have arrows. Okay, let's... Uh, 
Let's see what we can do. I bet that getting that tattoo was a hoot. Yeah. When am I building the police, says Omar? Uh, when I have time to make a plate for it. Um, I just haven't got around to it as yet. Let's go for the orange escape, because why not? Just to liven it up a little bit. version of alts we need on this board so we'll keep them out oh, man. so many keys here you can tell I'm not used to building out this layout because I'm confused all the time about what I need to be in places. Uh, Z X C V. Uh, I'm keep delaying the workshop trip till then. I would love to visit, but I'd love to try TGR. So patience makes perfect. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Now we can put our backspace up here. Shouldn't need that shift. Shouldn't need that control. Need that shift either. Do I not have an ASI entity? Do I have a set? Oh, there it is. I thought I had a set without an ASI entity. I was going to like, what? Slowly getting that out. Shouldn't take too much longer, guys. You scooped F. Uh, we shouldn't have done. Let's see if we can pull that out. Oh no. We need barred F. There we go. Okay, I'm going to use the pipe instead of the spare B. 
Oh, it's wrong profile. We're not going to use that. I lie. Uh, let's put the zero zero cap there. Right. Okay. So space bars. Let's see what we need from space bars. Is that the right key for that? No. So that must be the right key for there. Yes. Is that the right key for here? Yes. There we go. There we go. We've dared done the board. <laughs> Cloudline gang, nice. If you don't grab a J1, you're going in on Chaos Theory. Nice. Wanted Rudy, but two broke. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. What do you think about GMK Infernal? I think it's really nice. It's a really nice set. I think it's uh, it's just a busy time for keycaps. That's why it's struggling at the minute. Um, what was your favorite new keycap set released this year, not including reruns or round twos? Uh, I think, <laughs> hmm, I think Daisy and Dandy by Sour. They were probably my two favorites. I think. Uh, what are the general hopes expectations for Milky Way keycaps? They seem to have come out of the gate swingers and new manufacturer with ICs and group buys happening all over the place already. I think they're going to be a good budget option to try and. Uh, help people who want something cheaper in the pbt world um i'm really hopeful for them really hopeful okay kreath says uh hype a few stacks fugu yeah okay arcade floor bunga cat yeah that's right uh buzz last pilot by brocaps yep correct sirius dracula by art key yep correct uh gaff quantum creep type beast correct yes uh brobot white on black by Brocaps. Oh, no, no, that's wrong. That one's wrong. Number six is wrong. Uh, number seven, Bin Abash X More V2 by Arky. Kreath, you've got all but one right. The Brobot is something slightly different. The Brobot is something slightly different. You've got everything but one. That's really impressive that you've got that. That's really, really impressive. But you are one short. Any keycaps you would recommend going with uh, navy boards? Uh, GMK Bleached, really good. Uh, any of the white sets, GMK Delta looks really good uh, with the navy keyboard. Uh, I also like Dolch and Muted on navy boards as well. Jay, a bit of a sour enjoyer, I see. I do like sour. I think he's a very talented designer. Can I tell him so he gets the shirt? I did say only one guess each, but yeah, okay. Kreath, Kreath has one one chance to redeem himself. If he can if he can replace that six, I'll I'll give him one more chance. GMK Matrix 01 does look good on Navy, I'll give you that. Yeah, it does look good. Um but here you go guys. This is GMK Ski Data on the mountain keyboard. That looks pretty good, right? It's a little bit greasy, it needs some fingerprint cleaning. But that looks pretty damn good. Hey, Gok's here as well. Hey, Gok. Thank you very much for being here, man. That's pretty damn good, right? The base. I have to excuse the fingerprints because I have been manhandling it. We'll do a sound test in just a minute. I'm really, really happy with how it lines up the... Uh, with the wrist rest, that looks pretty good. I like how the seam runs nicely. Personally, I'm more excited about the EM8, but this looks good as well. Uh, Skeletor Crew, okay, Kreath, you can have it. Kreath, I think yourself, and there was one other person who won the giveaway earlier on, uh, which was Chicken Tikka Taka. If you guys both whisper to me, I will sort you out a, uh, a shirt of your size. Uh, well done to Kreath for getting all the other ones. I didn't think anyone would be able to name all those. Um, Kreath, did you have to look any of them up, or did you know them? Did you have to look them up, or did you know them? Let me know. That sounds great already. I haven't taken my headphones off, so I can't actually hear it yet. 
desk. Uh, the desk is just one I made myself. It's IKEA worked up on two IKEA desks. It's nothing special. I don't have a command for it. There was two giveaways, yeah. There was one if anyone could name all the artisans on this board here, which you can't quite see because there's like a few of them, which is what Kreeth just won. Uh, so I just, I was just showing that a few minutes ago. He named all of those. Um, and then we did another giveaway for a shirt as well earlier on. Right, let's uh, turn the music off and let's see just how this board does sound. I apologize in advance because my typing on this is going to be terrible. But let's see how it how it sounds. Okay, well, first things first, I think the stabilizers from KBD fans are really good. Okay, I don't usually like foam in keyboards, but I think this sounds surprisingly pleasing. I think this spacebar does need a little bit of a tune-up, uh, so I'm going to do that later on. The left spacebar sounds good, the entered backspace, the shift keys all sound good. Just that one spacebar just needs a little bit of tweaking on the lubing. Uh, there's no spring ping or anything like that. I think you occasionally heard me, because I'm not used to the tented style of this, just coming off the caps at an angle. Um, so that might have been the ping that you heard. It was just me kind of coming off the caps and kind of catching them and... Uh, sliding off them rather than lifting off them uh, but yeah it's very validating to see someone else who doesn't thumb space I don't do that though uh, yeah I can't remember the name of the designer for this one but this is from KBD fans yeah this sounds really good yeah I don't use the light foam but surprisingly this sounds pretty good it's really comfortable to type on as well I'm gonna give this a couple of days in the workshop and take the FLX burger out of rotation just for a little bit just to see how this works um, I can imagine stood up I'm not gonna need the wrist rest because I tend to use a standing desk there but I'm pretty happy with that it sounds nice it looks good I just need to tune the stabilizer up just a touch but I'm pretty happy with that it's pretty good Have you used a K? That's Bruce without phone, but it's a high-end board. I haven't. No, I do have one, but I haven't built it yet. Um, so I have a K round one, I think, with the red base, um, but I haven't built it yet. How is the tenting working for you, say, compared to regular Alex or FLX? I prefer flatter, I think. I don't really like tented. Like, it feels weird. I always struggled with the VEA to keep it tented as well. Um... I don't know, like I'm I, I'm gonna give it a shot for a couple of days and see if I can bed into it. But I tend to use boards like this when I'm stood up because I find it com more comfortable on my shoulders when I'm stood up to type on a board with my hands like that rather than like that. And I tend to find myself more comfortable at a desk typing on a flat keyboard, uh, a candy bar style keyboard like this. So I'm gonna give it a couple of days uh, in rotation in the workshop, but I'm pretty happy with how the board goes together. Uh, the PCBs are pretty nice. I like the connectors and everything else. I think the JST connector needed to be a little bit longer to the daughter board. That made it really difficult to install. The wrist rest and everything else, so for the price, for 420 bucks plus shipping, uh, sorry, plus import fees, um, it's a $500 keyboard, right? I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's all right. I think it's a good, good way. Uh, 
I, I might try it without the base foam in it later on and see how it was, see, see whether I enjoy that or not. But the switch foam seems to work okay. And I don't usually like that. Um, I am a big fan of these stabilizers though. These stabilizers feel super smooth. I hadn't tried the KBD fan stabilizers before this stream. I'd always used Jurok B2s or Zealio, uh, Zeal stabilizers or original cherry clippings, but I actually kind of like these ones. These feel really nice. This one just needs a slight tune up. I think I've missed one side, not quite got enough lube in there to stop a little bit of rattle. Um, um, so I do need to tune that up slightly, but the rest of the keycaps sound good. It sounds really nice. I haven't tried TKM yet. I don't have TKM installed uh, on here, so I haven't tried Moon. Um, so yeah, I think the tenting just needs a little bit of time for me to get used to. I'm not sure stood up's going to help with the tenting. I think you need to be sat down for tenting to be good. At arm's length stood up, it's probably not quite going to work for me, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, Rec, hey man, thanks for being here. Do you have a recommendation for a syringe for looming stabs? I used to do that and I hate doing it now. It's not as good. So I would advise you to use a nice brush and do it that way. Right. Okay. Well, I think that's it for this stream. I'm pretty happy with this build. I think it's gone really well. I think the board looks great. Um, I mean, when you consider that you can look at it from all these different angles and you can see that tented. I mean, look at that. There you go. That's a better angle of how the tent works. You can see how that looks. It's not severe, but it's there. It's noticeable. You can feel it. I'm pretty happy with the board, though. Another view so you can see how the tenting works. So this would be the flat base that your desk goes on at this, this side. And this is how it's tented. So you can see it's thinner here, thicker here, thinner here. That's how the tenting works. It's pretty nice, though, to have a, a matching wrist rest. That's pretty good. It is kind of similar to the blade, yeah. Pretty happy with how it came out, though. Right there, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, this is the end of the stream. Reminder that Iki Extras go live on Friday. Time is still to be determined. Uh, and I'll share that on Discord just before they go live a day or two before. Uh, J01 Extras, 11 a.m. UK time, uh, GMT on Saturday this week. We're going to have all of the J01 Extras in stock. Loads of stuff coming this week to so the store in stock as well. We've got about eight or nine different types of switches. 10 or 12 different desk mats and some other bits and pieces as well so watch out for those uh if you are subbed there will be some codes and giveaways dropped into the sub chat on uh on discord so watch out for those coming in they will be one-time user codes as well as as well as uh twitch user uh, sub user codes as well uh as also there will be a happy hour at some point randomly during the week where we'll just have 20 percent off for a whole hour it doesn't matter what you order it will be 20 percent off as long as it's in stock um and you'll that'll be on everything in the store it's in stock not group buys or pre orders but in stock stuff 20% off that will be announced a random point on discord and it will only be for one hour so watch out for that um yeah that's it that's it right time for me to head off now guys thank you so much for following thank you so much for all of the bits and subscriptions and everything else that you guys dropped today i really really appreciate it uh, I'm going to head home now because I've been here since 7am and it's half past 10 at night. So I'm going to head home. Be back here tomorrow. Watch out on the Instagram for some stories. You might see some cool things happening and I'll see you again soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.